Hey you, so on this video, is silver about to run out, I'm going to be going over just that, just um, some information I've been hearing as I've been doing the rounds and share it with you guys and hopefully you can tell them what you've heard relating to that there. So, hope everybody's doing well and fine and safe and, you know, keeping COVID clean and clear. And if you like what you hear so I see and haven't done so already, please do go ahead and like and subscribe. So yeah, this is going to be is silver about to run out plus the Q and A. And a shout out to everybody via the emails. I did clear a lot up of the spam and got back to a few people, especially ones that have been taking a little while. So apologies for that. But hopefully I got some answers out to a lot of the questions. And you know, for some that have just been pure email um DM me because there doesn't seem to be a lot of you know bull crap going on there in terms of spam. So definitely sign up um, to Instagram and for a couple of the guys that I said I'd help all pair up for some pieces that they was looking for that I don't personally have. You know I'm constantly getting contacted by guys that are selling stuff and I'm always saying you know if anybody comes along I could play matchmaker you know silver black. So, so you know definitely if you haven't already um, sign up to Instagram and also get me there because I can get to those a lot faster than the emails because the emails I seem to be getting spammed the hell out of but yeah so jumping into this I've been doing the rounds you know and just a uh, interesting chat that I've heard from a few dealers coming back relating to silver so you know um, apparently some dealers uh, the silver you know the good old emotional world seems to be flying off the shelves especially for a lot of the secondary market sellers and I wouldn't say all the dealers in the UK, but I'm, I'm sure if some of these dealers are struggling, then it's going to be the same case for a lot of them. But talk of the town is it, they're finding it very hard to get stock of silver, you know, so they're really lapping up a lot of the silver coins that they're getting in when we're seeing certain highs. It's a fantastic time to liquidate and, you know, Shadow's always up for helping dealers <laughs> restock their shelves. But more than one dealer and a few dealers told me that they was really struggling just acquiring the metals and you know I believe it was they got a quote from one of the largest stockists stockists in Europe and basically stated that I believe it was mid-September come to the end of September <clears throat> there would be one shipment if they was able to get their allocation and that was practically it you know it was going to be very hard getting stock so a lot of the dealers now, I've been in conversation with UK dealer wise, I'm not sure what's going on in Europe, are a little concerned. And so, what does that actually mean? So, please let me know if it's the same situation for wherever you are in the world, whether dealers are having problems getting a hold of the, the metal here that I'm showing here. It's because, you know, when conversating, it was a case of, well, if you can't get it, what happens from there? Uh, well, we all know what happens from there, depending on who you are. So I think more should come along will come along i can't tell you what's creating the backlog but i do know that they're concerned it can be a play for them to just sell more but you know strangely enough some dealers that were a little tight-fisted at one point are being very you know relaxed with the purse and you're getting close to what you're asking for you're not taking big losses and silver depending on when you pick the pieces up and so i found it very interesting that you know say coming into october mid-september it's going to be very interesting to see what's going on with the price of silver you know where do i stand on that once again and i've been speaking with a lot of people regarding silver i'm not a silver hater but i just don't think it's it's that time you know that time where it goes parabolic i think it's very cute what's happening now with the prices i think it's nice to see it can be frustrating because we stayed you can call it not low, well, of course lower than what it is now. I would have loved a lot lower because if this is the highs, it's, it's, it's higher than what it was for the previous three years, but I would have loved a lot lower, but I wouldn't say it was bad. Do I believe we're gonna see low again? I may be the minority, but I do believe that's gonna be the case. When, who knows? You know, it can be a long time. If what's said to be is going to play out in the coming months, who knows where silver may go, we may see new highs and especially if dealers can't get the, the, the batch or the stock in, we may see it touch those highs and hold those highs, especially when dealers are paying handsome premiums for coins, I mean any silver coins right now, especially if you've got gov-minted ones. So it was, I just found it very interesting, you know, so you know, I, as I've mentioned, I found out these stories, so I've been liquidating, so it's not held me back or stopped me 
from achieving certain goals in different air arenas and areas. But you know, uh, it's 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 interesting to hear, especially you, the panic. I would say, and the uncertainty in, in voices or not knowing what's going to happen, whether it goes parabolic from here because they can't get it or whether it's just a case of throttling and then surprise, a whole big batch comes out of nowhere. What will be more interesting to find now, especially anybody down below in the comments where you're obviously outside of Europe, if that's the case globally, you know, because if, if that's not the case globally, then I doubt we're going to be in too much of a pandemic panic. It's just going to be one of those situations where dealers in one certain part of one region are struggling. It'll be interesting to find out whether it's going to be the whole of the UK slash the whole of Europe, because there was a large allotment they had. I can't remember the numbers, and this dealer was adamant they secured a large amount of that, but didn't think they was going to get that. So once again, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. But, you know, that is, is silver about to run out. So, you know, let me know if you've heard anything or you believe or what you think it's going to do for the prices. Time frame I heard is middle of September. So anywhere from, you know, September to October is going to be very interesting. These are normally times where prices take a bit of a tanking. So we'll have to see what happens from there. But we'll get on to the Q&A now because I got to the bulk of the questions and answers. And the same questions again are I'll tweak um, that I've been getting, but along the lines of you know uh, Brexit, I would say was the, one of the first ones. What am I doing for Brexit and regarding Brexit? And I ain't gonna lie, Brexit from a standpoint of somebody that's going to be affecting. I know it doesn't affect a lot of people outside of the UK; they couldn't really care less. But it's been something that hasn't been playing on my mind it, because we've got so much on our plates at the moment. It's, I barely think of it. It's only when I get a question regarding Brexit that it pops up into my mind. I've still been buying, believe it or not, funny enough, and I've still been selling. What I've purchased within these high highs is some fractional gold, so a few fractional gold pieces, so when they eventually land, I can get them off my pal. Um, I will show them. Um, I've sold. Why I've sold? Because I've involved in other ventures once again, and I'm, I'm seeing fantastic gains and fantastic opportunities it's just the name of the game for me having enough physical and seeing the potential the current potential now and maybe what it could be for the end of the year so you know if i was holding the same metals here where do i think the physical is going to end up and where do i think where, where i'm putting my money is going to end up i'm just playing that game there so that's the reasons why i've purchased and i've sold i've purchased because there was good price pieces um more collectible as is the case high premium technically but for very reasonable prices and I sold because I had excess, I had more than enough and I, I saw a fantastic opportunity. Regarding Brexit and what I've been doing prepping stack-wise, I, I, Brexit we never saw coming five years ago or there's been a lot of talk. So in terms of stack, I would say I'm, I'm more than good. But for anybody else, I mean, getting on to the next question, I would be stacking now. I don't know what's going to happen. I'd be lying if I gave you any type of answer. What I would love to happen is, you know, what I'm involved in, which would be stocks and supplies for my trade to, to not be held up and, you know, metals, silver, tax-free, or just a tax break on a load of things or, or an understanding of where we're going to be. You know, when you can't get a straight answer from the, the ruling party in charge at the moment, and anybody else where you're purchasing from when you're getting shoulder shrugs and just being told if it doesn't work out we're going to expect three day queues on the motorway and stocks and supermarkets are going to double in price overnight i can't tell you what's going to happen i do know i've prepared for everything and my stack wise i have all the silver i want and need and i have all the gold i want and need and focusing more on gold now i don't really see any threat because we're still that free for gold but that could even change in brexit so who knows so what am i planning and how what's my outlook on that i planned everything i've been planning it's been business as usual and what do i think is going to happen i couldn't tell you i, I have no clue what's going to happen going straight on next the question was you know is now a great time to buy as i mentioned i'm always getting that question but i've tweeted with another question that i was telling somebody else the other day and it was basically I've been selling, you know, no surprise, but I do intend to buy back. And will we see lower prices? I believe we will. 
you know, it will be egg on my face if we don't see lower prices. And I do intend to buy back in silver, you know, and it's, it's going to be for me, um, the question I'm going to tweak it to is, you know, what is the best stack to have right now, or the best coins to be acquiring for myself. And so, you know, when I do rebuild the stack back up, once I have too, too, too much money, too much profit, it's going to be a boring stack I'm going to be focusing on. And the boring stack is going to be uh, foundation ounces. I'm going to keep it very plain, very simple. I think being in the UK, we do have that little edge because the Royal Mint do fantastic variety coins that are capital gains tax free. When I say fantastic variety coins, these are prime examples. So, you know, we get the Queen's Beasts. We get also the Roman lunar coins, you know, ugly as they may be. I think they're still good coins for keeping variety. So, you know, and you are, we are lucky enough. We do get, you know, hits like these. So I think gold wise, it will just be a, a, a hit or a potential hit with the Roman, depending on whether they're doing King's Beast or whatever. And silver wise, it will just be monster boxes of maples, Britannia's, and the likes of it'll just be like that a boring stack i won't venture too much into the gauntlet of the collector coins i think we need a cycle you know a cleaning cycle because right now it, it's um you against the dealer and the dealer and the dealer and then you you know i've said it many times the dealer's playing many roles and it, it, it becomes kind of silly it's not even a cat and a mouse game it's just the odds away against you and I just don't think there's as much opportunities there. And just playing it safe, especially when it comes to making, you know, profits on certain coins. I think you're better off playing that game elsewhere now. These ain't stocks or cryptos or something. These are physical coins, so they're much different when you need to liquidate or get the cash in. And it plays much, you've got a much higher risk also. So you've got many factors working against you now from the spotting issue, the quality control issues, the dealer issues, and then, you know, sending it out, how you're going to basically sell it. Way too much involved. Whereas if you get into something that's technically that an investment or you can trade it easily or make more profits, be it a stock or a crypto or something along those lines or even paper gold and silver it's a lot easy to really cash in so i'm going to really separate the two whereas once upon a time it was easy to play all of that game within this realm here but you know some of the big boys wanted to also play and take a lot of the fun away so my stack will be boring when i come back and repack up if we do see lower lows coming back in you know we're going to have to come out from the other end of where we are right now the recession slash depression and see how that looks so that's how it's going to be um when i do come back in picking up on the low once again i do believe we're going to see some lows again so i mean I'm, I'm in that crowd that camp i think these are highs now but it's going to get slammed down again so pick and choose what you're going to do you can either cash some in now or just wait for it to go to the moon you know silver to infinity and beyond and gold to 10k gold whatever happens i believe gold will be the strong holder in holding whatever price it touches but time will tell so the next question was um should you stack silver is it worth stacking silver you know i would say this um should you stack silver yes is silver better than gold no that's where i stand on that um why should somebody stack silver because it, there's definitely potential there you know it is a hedge against inflation to a degree you could even say the same about gold as a head against a hedge against inflation to a degree um it's for some people whether you like it or not they're not into picking up grams or half gram gold they want fuller larger amounts and they like the love story that goes along with it you know you know any time now or the happy ending <laughs> that goes along with silver that it's going to be a big explosive ending at the end and you know the step pot of gold or silver at the end of the rainbow so you should definitely stack it but for me i understand that it's not better than gold i don't believe it's ever going to be better than gold but i definitely think it's worth stacking you should stack the both of them whatever your budget allows you to whatever you want to do whatever you split it however way you want to split it i wouldn't absolutely write it off because hey but you know i'd say understand it more and don't take all your advice from guys like myself on youtube saying it's going to be a hundred plus a hundred plus because i'm extremely passionate about it try to look at it from more of a neutral standpoint you know it's doing fantastic for dealers 
you know, even as I've been liquidating some pieces and I was getting way above what the average person may get when they go going to liquidate some pieces, it was break even at best and a small loss at best. So take that into account. So you've got to be extremely long and with that mindset, whereas with gold, you can change your mind and or have a change of heart. And should you want to liquidate that, the spreads are tiny coming in. So you'll have a, a, either a small loss or no loss because depending on the premiums and where you purchase it from, it's always going to be the best. So I'd say easily for a beginner, somebody getting in, run, run into gold, no worries. But do a lot more research before you go into silver because you're going to find the gurus and the pumpers really focus on this metal more than this one here. But should you purchase it? Yes. Is it bad? No. You know, is it better than gold? My personal opinion, no. Let me know your opinion down below in the comments, guys. So I'm going to wrap this one up. So if you like what you see slash heard and haven't done so, please do go ahead and like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the rebound.